Hi, I'm Ange from London Nails. So my goals coming in to study at Monaco were to have a job that I could work around my children, uh, have, be able to turn my hobby and my passion into a job, uh, and to get the very best education that I could. And I did a lot of research before I decided that I was going to sign up with Monaco, and I can honestly hands down say, best decision I ever made. I do not in any way regret going to Monaco and studying there. Hardest thing? Oh, um, probably the hardest thing I struggled with was not being able to do it right the first time. Knowing that this takes time to learn and to become good at. That's what I found the hardest. Uh, nail techs make it look so easy and it really, really isn't. There is so much more that comes into play with being a nail tech. It's, it's not just glue some tips on and there you go. So I think that's what I struggled with most was that I couldn't just do it straight away. I needed to practice and practice and practice and practice and still practicing. <laughs> so that's what I found hardest. So best thing about Monaco, uh, there's way too many bests to name. Um, I think the things that they do exceptionally well are uh, they are supportive, they inspire you, they have excellent um, follow-up when you're struggling or when you've asked for help, uh, as well as that um, just plenty plenty of other people there that you can feed off. Um, it's very much a family environment, which is the best thing about it. It's, a, it's quite a competition-free zone. We all want to encourage each other. And we all have that commonality of learning at Monaco. Assessments. People do think of assessments and get nervous. They think of them like exams. Yes, the assessments are there to tell you what you're good at, what you need to improve on, um, perhaps where you're not doing so well. Uh, but use them as that. Use them as feedback. Uh, use them as your one thing you're going to work on for the next week or two weeks or until you next do an assessment. So the assessments aren't as scary as they seem. They, they're they there and they're, and they're so of such a high standard so that Penny and her team know that everyone that's graduating from Monaco has reached a certain standard and I think that's fantastic. 1 to 10 in terms of my confidence um, before I started um, at Monaco, um, I think I was probably ooh, probably about a f 3 or 4 uh, during, during my training. Um, from that very first day I had so much increase in confidence, just the amount that I was learning was amazing. So probably during um, or how it changed, I probably went up to about a six or seven during my training. And then after my training, um, I would say I'm pretty close to a, a nine, nine or ten. Um, gel polish, I feel very, very confident in. Um, hard gel also, acrylic, still tackling that one. <laughs> so my confidence is maybe a little bit lower in that one, but still, still getting there with plenty of practice. Uh, what advice do I have for someone wanting to study at Monaco? Do it. Do it. Take the leap. Do it. If you've thought about becoming a nail tech and you've thought, hey, this is something I want to do, do it. Honestly, you will not regret it. It is hands down the most enjoyable month of full-time study, pretty much, that I spent. Um, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Uh, the environment and the people and you meet all these new wonderful people and your brain is brimming full of this stuff and oh, it's just everything about it. Just do it. That is my best advice. Take the leap. Borrow the money to do it. Uh, talk to Penny about payment plans. Um, do what you can to get yourself into Monaco. Uh, how's my life changed since I have trained? Well, we've moved to the South Island, so we moved from Auckland to the South Island. Um, I am in the throes of restarting my business, so that's really exciting. Um, it means that I can start my business. That's what I like about being an Altec, is that I can start my business anywhere. I literally need a PowerPoint, a table, a light, and all the things that I've got in my kit. So that's the amazing thing about being an Altec. Uh, one of my favourite nail techs, mm, um, 
I follow quite a few now techs that I love. Um, Selena Ryden is one. She is um, un freaking believable. Uh, she is just, I love everything about what she does. Um, who else? Um, I do... I do follow quite a lot of nail techs, so it's hard to choose just one. Um, but I follow a, a variety of different nail techs for a variety of different reasons. Some are for art design, some are for one stroke, some are for 3D. Um, there's just so many talented people out there, it's hard to, for me to choose just one. Um, why would I recommend Monaco or what did I most love? Well, I think I've, you could probably tell from what I've said. Um, I recommend Monaco for the follow-up, for the family feel, for the connectedness. Um, I recommend it because it you can continue over that course of that year to do your classes again. Uh, I, I I don't know. I just there's so much about it that I loved. Um, so much about it that I would recommend. And and as I've said, I do not in any way. Um, doubt the money that I've spent with Monaco and the time that I've spent studying with them. Even now, now that I've graduated and I've coming, I'm coming up to my one year since I studied, um, now I'm still really involved in Monaco and I like to see that the tutors are commenting on my, my work and it's really, it, it's really awesome to see that, that I'm part of a Monaco family and I will be as long as I'm an Altec and beyond really. So yeah, take the leap, do it! Join Monaco. It is it from from me. You won't regret it. It's amazing. You'll just you'll enjoy every moment of it and turn that passion, turn that hobby, into a job. You know, make those people smile and laugh and gaze at their nails when they leave your salon. You can do it. It's awesome. See ya.